In the Shogun TV show, Matsudaira Tadayoshi is presented to us as Yoshi Nagakato, who is Lord Yoshi Taranga's son, who is based off Tokugawa Ieyasu. In the series, Nagakato is an impulsive and aspiring samurai who adores his father and wishes for his approval. However, the events in the show and real life differ significantly. The real Matsudaira Tadayoshi was born during his father's rise to power, and would also die young. However, he would die under different circumstances, but he was a very rash young man, looking to impress his father. He would be remembered as the man who fired the first shot at the Battle of Segigahara, beginning the carnage. This is his story. Matsudaira Tadayoshi was the fourth son of Tokugawa Ieyasu, and was born in the year 1580. His mother was named Lady Saigo, who was one of the concubines of Ieyasu. Although Lady Saigo's name is less mentioned compared to other figures of that era, she is recognised as a silent force, guiding Ieyasu from the shadows. Her life narrative mirrors a tale reminiscent of feudal Japan's Cinderella. Lady Saigo would also have another child with Ieyasu, named Tokugawa Hidetada, who was Tadayoshi's older brother. However, she would die in the year 1589, at the age of 37, when Tadayoshi was just a nine-year-old boy. After this, Tadayoshi and his brother Hidetada were adopted by Lady Acha, another concubine of Ieyasu's. Lady Acha became more important as a retainer than a concubine, as she served Tokugawa Ieyasu in several of his military campaigns, and would accompany the army to battle. Therefore, she had a lot of lessons to teach the young Tadayoshi. At some point, when Tadayoshi was a bit older, he was then adopted by his uncle, Matsudaira Iyatada, the brother of Ieyasu, who was the lord of Omigawa. Iyatada had fought in many battles, such as the Battle of Mikatagagahara and the Battle of Nagashino to name a few. Tadayoshi would hear tales of his family's exploits while in the court of his uncle. During this time, Tadayoshi's father Tokugawa Ieyasu had allied himself with Toyotomi Hideyoshi who was now the Chancellor of the realm and had unified Japan under his banner. In the fateful year of 1593, Tadayoshi embarked upon the journey of matrimony. His betrothed was named Masako, and she was the daughter of I Naomasa, a highly effective general serving Tokugawa Ieyasu. But fate had woven a tapestry of turmoil and treachery. In the wake of Toyotomi Hideyoshi's demise, in the year 1598, the land quivered with tremors of impending conflict. Ieyasu, Tadayoshi's father, emerged as a titan amidst the chaos, igniting the flames of war against adversaries such as Ishida Mitsunari. In the year 1600, when the whispers of rebellion echoed in the east, Ieyasu's legions surged forth, the war drums heralding an era of bloodshed. Amidst this turbulent era, Tadayoshi emerged from relative obscurity, not being famed or known for anything apart from being the son of Ieyasu. With his father's banner fluttering overhead, Tadayoshi led his troops, ready to take part in his first battle. That would be one of the largest and most epic in Japanese history. As the sun dipped low on the horizon, casting long shadows over the fields of Segigahara, the stage was set for an epic clash. At first light, on the day of October the 21st, in the year 1600, the battlefield lay shrouded in a thick blanket of fog, a sinister veil cast by the earlier rain. In the eerie pre-dawn silence, the Tokugawa advance guard stumbled upon the looming spectre of Ishida's army, their presence concealed by the swirling mist. Like ghosts emerging from the ether, 
both sides prepared for a chaotic battle. On that fateful day, as the earth quaked beneath the weight of the clashing armies, Tadayoshi stood at the forefront, his heart pounding. It was his first battle, and over a hundred thousand men were taking part. Guns and cannons were also used, making the battle that much more chaotic. Beside him rode I Naomasa, his father-in-law and mentor. Tadayoshi's eyes were ablaze with the fire and fear of battle. He would fire his gun at the enemy side, thus taking credit for starting the Battle of Sigigahara. Amidst the carnage, tragedy lurked in the shadows. As the western armies faltered before Ieyasu's relentless advance, Tadayoshi and Naomasa found themselves embroiled in a deadly dance with destiny against the backdrop of swirling dust and the stench of spilled blood. They faced off against the Shimazu clan, with their valour matched only by their ferocity. In the heat of battle, Tadayoshi felt the bite of steel against flesh. He had just been shot in the head, yet undaunted he pressed on, his spirit unyielding in the face of death and carnage. Beside him, Naomasa fought with the fury of a wounded lion, with him taking a bullet to the leg. When the dust settled, and the cries of the fallen faded into silence, Tadayoshi stood triumphant. Amidst the wreckage of war, he emerged victorious, his name etched in the annals of history as the man who began the conflict in his first battle, which just happened to be Japan's most important and biggest engagement. Matsudaira Tadayoshi, hailed for his valour on the field of Segigahara, would become the lord of Omigawa after the death of his uncle Iyatada, who was killed fighting Ishida Mitsunari in the siege of Fushimi. Tadayoshi's father Ieyasu would become the shogun in the year 1603, elevating his son's status and level of influence. Amidst his ascent to prominence within the imperial court, Tadayoshi was elevated to the esteemed title of lieutenant general in the year 1605, and was bestowed the honour of governing the Satsuma province. Yet, his war wound from Sekigahara was beginning to take its toll, and Tadayoshi would fall ill. Tadayoshi sought solace in the healing waters of the Tajima province, the soothing embrace of hot springs offering respite from the ravages of his disease. Tadayoshi's condition would now deteriorate with each passing day. Sensing his life slipping away, he left for Edo to spend time with his father Ieyasu and his brother Hidetada. He was unable to recover, dying in the year 1607, at the age of 27, after a reconciliation with his family. And thus, in the twilight of his existence, Matsudaira Tadayoshi surrendered to fate, his legacy enshrined in the annals of history. He had a short life, with his existence intertwining with his father Ieyasu's ambition and will to dominate and unite Japan. He is remembered as the fourth son of Ieyasu, and the war hero of Segigahara, which unfortunately cut his time short. I hope you all enjoyed the video, if you did, Make sure to like, subscribe and share, and I'll see you all soon for another History Profile.